There's been no shortage of voices in Washington expressing dismay at Donald Trump's decision to withdraw troops from Syria and the subsequent resignation of Defense Secretary James Mattis. I'm shaken by the news because of the patriot that General Secretary Mattis is. And now with reports that the president has ordered a withdrawal from Afghanistan, Republican Senator Lindsey Graham has called for congressional hearings on both decisions. The foreign policy establishment is confronting one of its greatest fears, that Trump meant what he said on the campaign trail. We're worse in the Middle East than we were 15 years ago. I mean, right now, it's a disaster. Once Trump filled his cabinet with people who did not share that view, though, the establishment thought it was safe. I think it's fair to say that the establishment never wanted this moment to come. I mean, the, the establishment, and Mattis certainly is a member of that establishment in good standing, uh, is unwilling, I think, to ask any first order questions about U.S. policy in the region. And even if things haven't gone well, and they haven't, their inclination is simply to persist. There is skepticism about how deeply geostrategic Trump's decision was and whether the president will even follow through. But several issues are reported to have been involved in the Syria decision, including the primacy of the U.S.'s strategic relationship with Turkey and the avoidance of mission creep. In the last few months, National Security Advisor John Bolton has made it clear that the U.S. was in Syria to confront Iran. That was a position explicitly rejected in the tweet that announced the withdrawal. We have defeated ISIS in Syria, my only reason for being there during the Trump presidency, the president wrote. But the military itself is divided. There are many senior officers of the military who think these serial deployments over long periods of time just aren't working, and they're eroding uh, military readiness. But it's worth remembering that even with these proposed withdrawals, the U.S. still has tens of thousands of troops and massive air power in the region. Shia Britansi, Al Jazeera, Washington.